In this video, I'm going to react to the terrifying scale of nuclear weapons. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. This is the place where I react to music, media, sports, anime, anything related to popular culture. I'll watch it with an open mind and give you my 100% honest reaction to it. And if you could please hit that like button early, I'd really, really appreciate it. Now this should be a genuinely fascinating video just because I'm someone who has a bit of a fascination with nuclear power in terms of just the, the endless possibilities that you know it can provide for mankind. I believe you know nuclear power is one of the, if not the most uh, efficient uh, sources of power that we have in terms of you know the ability for it to produce energy for a long period of time and um, but the thing is there's always you know it's like a coin there's always two sides of that story we you know we have nuclear power and what it can do for us but we also have you know the destructive power of nuclear weapons I, I think um, the only two uses of nuclear weapons have been uh, uh, Hiroshima and uh, Nagasaki, I believe. I'm not sure if there's been other ones. And, um, you know, those were just absolutely devastating. I think um, the death tolls, are, they're in the hundreds of thousands or something like that. I think Chernobyl was another one, but that was more of a, that was an accident, I believe, with the reactor. It wasn't as if a, uh, a bomb had went off. And, um, you know, that one, I think the effects are still being felt to this day. So, you know, but other than that, I don't really know of, you know, just how powerful they are compared to you know your conventional sort of like tnt sort of stuff so you know this this video i believe is by wendover no real life law and they do a really good job in sort of uh, condensing really complex vo like high volume information into like nice digestive chunks that are easy for you know for, for novices like me to be able to understand clearly. So yeah, this is gonna be really interesting. So let's go. This is gonna be me reacting to the terrifying scale of nuclear weapons. Let's do it. Ever since the first nuclear weapons test in the deserts of New Mexico and the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, nuclear weapons have become significantly more powerful. Since the first test in New Mexico by the United States in 1945, 2,475 nuclear weapons have been detonated across the globe. Wow. Over 85% of those detonations have come from only two countries, however, the United States and the former Soviet Union. Only two of those thousands of detonations were ever used in a war. The ones dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II. Look at that, just completely destroyed. All of these, you know, are like homes and structures, buildings, flat. That's nuts crazy by the United States. But those bombs were very small compared to modern weaponry. The Hiroshima bomb produced wow, an explosion of 15 kilotons or 15,000 tons worth of TNT. The bomb dropped on Nagasaki had an explosion of 21 kilotons, but how much bigger can nuclear weapons possibly get? The answer is terrifyingly oh, much. Jesus, this, did you see the shock wave? Oh man, hold on, let me go back. But how much bigger can nuclear weapons possibly get? The Look answer is, terrifyingly, much, much bigger. The largest nuclear weapon currently in the United States arsenal is the B-83, which can produce a blast of 1.2 megatons. Wow. To understand the scale from here out, one megaton is equal to one million tons of TNT, Ooh. and that is equal to 1,000 kilotons. Remember that the Hiroshima blast was just 15 kilotons, so that means that the B-83 produces a blast 80 times more powerful than that. Good what God. I've been showing on this scale is only the size of the mushroom cloud that the bombs produced. So to further add to the scale, we're going to place the size of Mount Everest here and the average altitude of a commercial airliner that you would normally fly on here. Crazy. So, the Castle Bravo bomb is the largest nuclear weapon ever tested by the United States. It produced a blast of 15 megatons, or about 1,000 times the scale scale of Hiroshima, but even that pales in comparison to the largest nuclear weapon ever detonated. In October 1961, the Soviet Union created the largest man-made explosion ever in human history when they detonated this device, known as the Tsar Bomba, here over this territory known as Novaya Zemlya. The bomb detonated with an astounding force of 50 megatons, or about 3,333 Hiroshima blocks. Whoa! 
3,333 times the power of the Hiroshima bomb. Gosh! And let's assume that, you know, the Hiroshima bomb uh, caused like 50,000 casualties. It was probably more than that. So that's... To multiply that by 3,000, some quick maths, that's like... Is that 15 million? I think it's around about 15 million people. Jeez, man. Wow. Blasts. It was so powerful that it almost destroyed the plane that dropped it, shattered windows as far away as Norway and Finland, and the shock waves created by the bomb circled around the entire Earth three times. But this test was actually just a scaled down version of what was theoretically possible. What? Although never tested, the Soviets did have plans to create a bomb that would be twice as powerful as even the Tsar Bomba, a bomb so powerful that it would have produced a mind boggling 100 megaton blast. Or about about 6,666 Hiroshima blasts altogether. To get another sense of scale, let's imagine that Times Square in New York City would be the epicenter of these blasts. You can test this stuff out yourself on the website NukeMap after watching this video. I'll provide a link for it after the end, but let's see the results first. First off, we're going to show the size of this detonation, which was caused by the recent North Korean test in 2013. Following this, here is the size of the Hiroshima detonation, which isn't really that much bigger, but let's move on to the B-83 bomb that we were talking about. As you can see, it would affect a much larger area than the Hiroshima bomb, but moving on past that to the Castle Bravo test, we can Crazy. see how it truly dwarfs everything before it. But even that blast is incredibly tiny when we move on towards the Tsar Bomba as seen here. And then finally for our scale, we move on to how large the blast from the theoretical 100 megaton version of the Tsar Bomba would be. Crazy. The blast would be so powerful, this is what the blast radius would look like if you were observing it from the International Space Station. So the question then becomes, should any of this- So, it's comp New York is just gone here. Just gone. You've got like, surrounding states being affected as well. Really worry you? How many nuclear weapons exist today anyway? Well in total there are estimated to be around 15,600 nuclear weapons in the world currently, enough to destroy the entire planet dozens of times over. But only 9 countries control that stockpile, and 92% of those weapons are controlled by only the United States and Russia. Honestly, this just makes me hope and pray that there is no, there's no other world war because Someone mentioned it to me, um, I think it was Rich in Seattle in a previous video, that literally we have enough nuclear weapons to wipe out, like, like he just said, humanity like hundreds of times over. We would be done. We would be done. If there was an all-out war, an all-out war, no holds barred, we would be done as a species. It'd be over. We'd, I just... It frightens me to think about. It genuinely does. The other 8% of the global nuclear arsenal is controlled in descending order of numbers by France, China, the United Kingdom, Pakistan, India, Israel, and North Korea. Israel is, however, highly secretive about its nuclear program and has never publicly confirmed nor denied the existence of their nukes. It's just one of those things where everybody knows that they have them, but nobody really comes out and says so. Unless your name happens to be Mordecai Vanunu, a man who did reveal details about Israel's nuclear program and spent 18 years in prison, including Whoa. over 11 years in solitary confinement. Oh my god. Also interesting to note, South Africa used to be in possession of six nuclear weapons because the past apartheid regime was afraid of the 79% of the population that couldn't vote and communists trying to overthrow their government, but they eventually agreed to dismantle all of them, which makes South Africa the only country to ever acquire nuclear weapons and then voluntarily get rid of them. Well, unless you don't count Ukraine, Belarus, or Kazakhstan, which all had nuclear weapons for a brief amount of time after they declared their independence from the Soviet Union in 1991. Ukraine is particularly awkward because after their independence they found themselves in possession of over 5,000 nuclear weapons, wow. which would make Ukraine for a brief period the world's third largest nuclear power and probably one of the most powerful countries on Earth as a result. They agreed to hand them all over to Russia in exchange for a super serious promise that nobody would violate their territory or borders in the future, and we all know how that turned out. As a result of that happening, it's doubtful that other countries would be thrilled to ever give up their nuclear weapons in the future, but leave your thoughts and comments below about how you feel one way or the other. I'd also like if you posted any questions that you have to ask about Man, me personally. My that was genuinely frightening. I mean... 
just when it, when uh, when real life law was you know just showing the scale of how much <laughs> how much more powerful the nukes that we have now are compared to the two that were used on uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki respectively it was just like it was a real eye opener for me i mean I mean, I reacted to um, the fallen of World War II um, about on Monday, and uh, you know, I think 80 million people died as a result of that conflict. And the weapons that we have now, just vastly, by orders of magnitude, they're way more powerful. So, I mean, if there was another world conflict, it, 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 it would be, it would honestly be frightening. It would be scary. It would just be it's not what we want it's not what we want at all i mean yeah honestly really really scary stuff thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe turn on bell notifications and keep throwing the recommendations my way i know i say it all the time but they genuinely help me out because if i know you enjoyed watching something i'll definitely enjoy reacting to it so like subscribe turn on bell notifications keep throwing the recommendations and I'll catch you in the next one.